Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for cancer. Hope you guys are all doing well. Sending you love and light always. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. So this will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But this could resonate with you if you have placements in your birth chart in cancer or you're dealing with somebody that does have cancer birth chart placements. Please take a moment to read through the description box. Um, I would appreciate that, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are closed, guys. But um, if you're interested in collective readings, uh, the links to my Instagram and Facebook pages are in the description box. I wanted to also let you guys know that, yes, I am aware of the scammers, but there's not much that I can do about it. But there is something that you can do, all right? Report and block these comments, these Instagram scammers, um, because there's not, I can't, they block me so that I can't really do anything at, on Instagram at least. So um, that would, fit, you know, contribute to, um, how do I, what am I trying to say? Like that, that would be a good way to help stop the scammers is for you guys to um, report and block those comments and those messages, those profiles when they reach out to you. All right. I saw 111 on the camera that could be significant to you. Well, somebody's done giving to a situation here. Somebody is done giving to a situation. I feel like somebody is having the strength to maybe like communicate something here, the courage and the strength to communicate something or to stick up, spirit says stick up for themselves. Um, I feel like somebody is gonna be successful in doing something and they're gonna wanna start new. This could, you could be dealing with the Sag for sure because um, this is kind of similar to the Sagittarius reading that I just did. Um, possible signs here. I see Taurus energy. I see Libra energy. Um, fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have Leo here. We have also Queen of Swords on the back of the deck. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody has been in some type of situation with somebody that's very controlling. Somebody that's very, um, maybe very, has a tight grip on their money. Is in a relationship with them for money. Um, this could be somebody that they have children with. I feel like they're done giving to that situation and they're get, getting the courage to, to stick up for themselves or to maybe set a boundary or something here. Um, yeah, somebody has felt trapped in this situation. They, I feel like somebody was very conflicted in their head about what to do about this situation too, but I feel like somebody has gained clarity. The, com the conflictedness is coming to an end and I feel like there's about to be some type of karmic justice here that's going to happen. Yeah, it's like they're no longer trying to cooperate with a person or associate with that person so that they can heal. It's like they're, somebody's coming to the realization that they need to remove themselves from a situation to heal. Somebody's tired of stagnancy, of just being stagnant. So I see that somebody is trying to... It's like I'm actually seeing that a breakup is actually going to get somebody out of some mental turmoil. And I feel like that person's going to start just focusing on their own stability, maybe focus on their career, their money. I see Earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, they're going to focus on manifesting something in regards to their career and money and their stability. Because I see that somebody could maybe be dealing with some type of debt, some type of financial issues. Yeah. But at the same time, they're healing. They're getting out of that pessimistic mindset. Uh, they're they're not dwelling on the past as much anymore. It's like they're gaining control back over their mind and their life here. Um, defending themselves, I feel like. Yeah, it's like there was some type of conflict in a, in a home situation. It's not stable. They're not in that. They're married. That marriage is over. If they were in a commitment, that commitment's over. If there was stability in a situation, there's no longer stability in that situation. Um, or there never was. Um, because something is coming to a light. 
I feel like somebody is not confused. Somebody wants to return here. And they're not confused about it anymore. It's like, I feel like somebody was contemplating whether, whether or not they wanted to accept an offer or not. This could be somebody that you haven't been speaking to, but I see that this person wants to come out of no contact. on in this situation i told you surviving somebody's not doing well financially somebody's like living paycheck to paycheck they, they've drained their savings account very burnt out they're maybe working a lot and they're just tired somebody's learning some hard lessons through hardship yeah somebody's been in like a transitional period in their life where they're not like in their that's, it's like I feel like somebody has moved on from one situation, but they haven't quite stepped into their new life yet, or where they're, they're not exactly where they're supposed to be yet. So like they're trying to figure out what path they're supposed to be on. Um, there's going to be some clarity though. Somebody's going to know exactly where they're supposed to be, or where they're supposed to be going, or what they're yeah, what they're supposed to be doing. I see some type of um, clarity coming in here. Maybe that was what the sun was. contracts <clears throat> what about contracts burnt out somebody has been in a very exhausting like karmic contract or they've been stuck in something that has been very exhausting for them okay um it could be something like a business contract it could be a relationship a karmic relationship they've been stuck in something that has been very exhausting that they feel like they've had no control in they feel like they have to pour so much energy into that situation that they neglect themselves. Yeah, all work, no life. Somebody feels like they have to like, maybe they have a job where there's a contract. Like there's something here like they have to overwork themselves because of like they're in some type of contract or they're in some type of karmic relationship that's just very exhausting. They feel like they've obligated themselves to do too many things. Um, but there's about to be some type of divine intervention here. Oh, love offer. It could be somebody coming in with a love offer, guys online what about online somebody's gonna reach out to you online a woman what is this woman card secrets what does my do with my cancers karmic justice so if somebody could have re either you guys are gonna be reaching out to a feminine online or there's a feminine that's gonna be reaching out to you and it revealed some type of secret. And it put an end to a karmic situation, it looks like here. It like started it like started the process of getting everything back into balance. What does this have to do with my cancers? So There's an opportunity that's being presented to you or that already has been presented to you because we had the four of cups that is like a golden opportunity. It looks like it has to do with love. It's like a one of a kind love. It could be career for some of you, but you're going to have an, the opportunity to team up with somebody to work towards like a, a mutual goal. This could be, like I said, work or a relationship. Um, you could also have a feminine that's going to come to your aid that there's like a feminine around you that I feel like is going to be very helpful for you. Like they're gonna help you reveal some things to you that you didn't know. They're gonna help, they're gonna help you in some way. And I feel like this partnership or this teamwork, this team situation, and if you need, you can reverse the roles if you need to guys. You guys could be the feminine that's gonna help out a masculine. It just depends here. Um, I see there being like some type of partnership or a team teaming up with somebody to complete a goal together. It's like this person could really use your assistance or you could really use their assistance. But I see you and this person coming together. 
things are going to start moving a lot more smoothly. Yeah. Happy outcome. You and this person coming together. Happiness. Yeah, rebuilding. You're going to come together to build something. Some of you guys can end up building a house together. Something's going to improve by you and you and this person coming together. And it's like you guys may already have a feeling that you and this person are going to come together. Or have an, if somebody has an inner knowing about something here, that being with you could make them very happy or vice versa. That you guys could build something very great together. That, that you could help them, assist them. It's like being with you is going to lead to... It's going to get them out of limbo. It's going to be what is like, it's like when they think about when they trans out, transition out of this limbo period, they think about you being in that, like on the other side of the bridge. All right. Um, leadership. Self image. So what does this have to do with the snake? Deep thinking. Somebody's thinking long and hard about they had to take a really long time to decide on whether or not they wanted to put an end to something and start healing. There was something in their life that they had to really like, they did a lot of thinking or maybe they didn't even make the decision to put an end to it. This situation that they were dealing with seemed like it was an inevitable end. It was something that was going to end whether they liked it or not. And, um, but I'm kind of feeling like this person is stepping into, it's like they're loving themselves more. They're kind of stepping into their power now. And I feel like now that's what's putting it in. They're going to finally put a final end to a situation because they, they're loving themselves more. They're stepping into their power. They know their value. They know their worth. And they're trying to look at the situation logically. Something that somebody has been involved in doesn't even make logical sense. I feel like they've been in like, I feel like somebody's bad deeds may get revealed as well. It's like, they're going to find out that somebody that they were dealing with was hiding things from them or hiding their true intentions. I told you somebody could have been just using them for money. Didn't even love your person. Didn't even care about your person. They were just using them for their own benefit, doing things behind their back. And in divine timing, it looks like this is probably going to be revealed or they're going to realize it. Maybe it's something that's always been like very like in their face, but they didn't want to realize it or they didn't want to come to terms with it. But yeah, I feel like also money was a factor. Somebody had to really work on their finances and their money and it could even, not even be money. It could be just being stable, not being, being able to just settle down. All right. But I see that there could be maybe travel. There could be distance between you and this person. I see You and this person are soulmates or you guys have some type of, there is some type of divine purpose to this connection. But it's like, I do see even the possibility of marriage in the future. And I feel like when this person does come back, it's going to be very out of the blue. But why do I feel like money and career is a very big factor in this situation? Somebody may have to like start a new job where they have to like drive like a, a good distance to get there every day and back. I also see the possibility of that. Um, but I just feel like you guys could have been maybe feeling like you were going to hear from this person. Like you could feel this person in your energy. You can kind of maybe feel that they were coming back towards you and they haven't shown up yet. Yeah, this is kind of like the uh, Sagittarius reading. Um, but the thing is, is that this person had to make a very difficult decision that would free them. Okay. But it was very difficult for them to, um, make the decision. There may have been some type of sacrifices that they had to make. Um, it was like, yeah, it's like they had to face the, the harsh truth about something or they had to go through, learn a harsh truth, but it's like, but it finally freed them. And now I see that they're about to take a risk here and try to reconcile with you or maybe this person even had to go and reconcile with somebody that they weren't meant to be with to to learn a harsh truth to get a slap in the face yeah they took a risk and maybe went to a situation that was a dead end and they learned a very difficult lesson in that situation but um take it how it resonates guys they it looks like this person is one of those the very stubborn they had to learn the hard way um but i definitely see that they are 
like they're in the process of getting on the right path now they're like kind of like they're trying to get out of being stagnant i see this person very much up in their head trying to figure out what to do now that something has come to an end what's the best course of action so this is what i have for you guys i hope that this reading helped you thank you for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you could take something from this reading um personal readings are closed but don't forget to like and follow me on instagram and facebook um, other than that guys i hope you have a good rest of your weekend and i will talk to you soon bye